And I, there it is. Yep. I see All right, Jen. So I'm going to do gallery. Thank you, everybody, for coming. This is Jeff Ackerman. I'm super excited to have him. We're going to go over a little bit of why I'm so excited about this new technology that I found to reverse aging and um, what we're going to go over my blood work eventually. Um, but first, I want to introduce Jeff and the company and this new product that they just launched in December called iHercules. I am like, I am through the roof on the excitement of what this can do for all of us. So here's Jeff. I'm going to put him on the view and he, behind him, he's going to share with you why we're both so excited. So thank you, Jeff, for, for letting me record. Yes, Cynthia, just a pleasure to be on here with you. Yeah, so I just want to start out by saying, you know, we have the, the first technology that is proven through a government accredited agency. And it just so happens that the agency or the, the lab was started by the Nobel Prize winner in science proving telomeres at the end of the DNA code are your true biological age of your cells on the inside. So, you know, typically in this country, when somebody gets their blood tested like this, they're going to be at their age or older. And if they have any kind of a condition, then they're definitely going to be at their age or older. Because when we put toxins and chemicals and horrible things into the body, we age faster. If you could live on this planet with absolutely no contamination, everybody understands you'd have a healthier, longer life, right? Yeah. So yeah. because of these exposure to these hor horrible things, that's why we don't live as long. So as you can see behind me, these are results. We've had over 1,500 people in the last five years working with our technology. This lab has tested their blood to tell them how old they are. They don't know who we are, and they have no idea what we do. All you do is send a sample of your blood to them, and they send it back with your actual age. All right. So if you look behind me, you can see these people, you know, it's not two to three years difference. We're talking 10, 15, 20. I've seen as high as 30 years age reversal. And so now I'm going to talk about what that really means and, uh, you know, how we're able to achieve these results. First of all, you know, when you reverse your age, it doesn't mean that you're going to look 20 again. What it means is your body on the inside is acting like you were younger. You know, when a young child is exposed to a virus or a pathogen or chemicals, their body reacts very quickly with the immune system to clean that out of the body. As we age, because of the replication of that DNA getting shorter, as well as your immune system cells doing the same thing, your body's not working in real time as efficiently. Now, we all know that conditions are caused by chronic inflammation in the body. Yeah. And I'll explain yeah. a little bit about why that disrupts this whole system. See, when I started working with this science uh, five years ago, my role was to bring people to the team that had issues. And, um, you know, no matter what they did, they couldn't get any kind of a reprieve from these issues. And I'll explain the reason why. You know, when we eat food, because of Monsanto's like Roundup, you know, it's in everybody's garage, they've proven that that's in the soil and in the water. So even if you eat organic food, there's no way to get around the poisons. Well, what happens in your body when poison enters? I'm going to share something that's going to blow you away. Even if it's just a synthetic, like in a vitamin, that is treated like a poison in the body. The body only wants 100% plant material with no chemicals from the ground, natural and raw. That's all it wants. Anything outside of that variance is like a toxin or a poison. So there's an immediate response in the body. What happens is the immune system responds by closing the microcirculation uh -huh. because the microcirculation is the little tiny capillaries in the carpuscles that actually feeds blood to the cell. If anything gets to the cell, it kills it, which would then kill you. So the response is to close it so it can't get in there. Well, this creates an inflammation response. And we all know that chronic inflammation is very bad in the body. I mean, heart disease is the number one killer, right? Cancer is number two. All of these conditions are based on chronic inflammation, and you can't feel the buildup. People don't know they're going to have a heart attack that day. They just have a heart attack. And the number one response to a heart attack is death. You're lucky if you wake up from the heart attack. So think of it like a bee sting. When a bee stings you, immediately the microcirculation closes off to hold that poison from moving. Then your immune system is, is triggered by an inflammation response. It's supposed to be a good thing. So then the immune system comes in and cleans that out. Now it can't get to the rest of the body, right? And cause the death. 
So once that happens, now the system's back open. The time it takes for the immune system to get there and clean that out is how healthy you are. As you age, because you constantly poison yourself over and over every time you eat, that happens slower and slower until you pass, all right? Now, once that system's completely open, now your body will start producing new baby cells with longer telomeres at the end of the DNA, and it'll slough off the old cells quicker. So that can be proven through the blood work, through the lab that's the, the telomeres. So that's the science that she proved. Now, to further back that up, when I do have somebody that has something that's going on in the blood, or that you have an issue, I can go to LabCorp or Quest, just like all the hospitals and doctors. We can see exactly what's happening in your blood. So when people say, well, I don't know if I believe this or I'm having a hard time believing it. We not only have the results from Telliers, but we also have blood work proof that as you're on this, your organs get healthier and everything gets better. And it's not the food and the technology, it's actually your body cleaning the system out. Your body's designed to do it. So again, I'm gonna show you really quick what this is. It's just a spray. You spray it in your mouth. Oh, cool. And you do it 15 minutes before you eat food, and I'll tell you why. But just a simple spray, just like that. And this is food. Garlic, turmeric, black cherry, red raspberries, uh, anise, celery. The team understands food is the key to your health. Food is what your body uses to make blood. And we all know life is in the blood. So the healthier your blood, the healthier you are. So this food, the way they got to this was they were given research from over 400 years. See, this team was put together in the 70s. They were put together by powerful families that wanted to build a better fort in their body because they had experienced the Black Plague, Spanish flu, uh, World War I where they used chemical weapons. Those are the three major things that are going to kill people, and we can't get away from it. You're never going to stop viruses from entering the body, pathogens, or chemicals, right? So let's build a better fort because your immune system is designed to clean all that out. But if you're constantly eating poisonous food every single day, how do you do that? Well, you need this food, right, in the right quantities, mixed together correctly so that the body can start building better blood to, you know, push this stuff out. And so that's exactly what the technology is. So this team was given 400 years of research on plants and what plants do for the body. They then designed an extraction model where they looked at the leaf of the plant, the stalk of the plant, and the root, okay? Now they know when you sit down and eat food, the body's looking for something, but what was it? So they started pulling extracts from each one of these parts. Then they did third-party blood analysis to see how it affected the organs and how the body picked it up and built better blood. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when you have unlimited great. resources and unlimited data, now, these, this team's 30 to 40 years ahead of anyone just understanding the best parts of the plants. They know the top 80 to 120 extracts from each plant. And when that's mixed back together and the body sees it as food, the body absorbs it immediately, all right? So when it takes it into the body, there's a couple things that happen. First of all, the hydrochloric acid in the stomach naturally increases, all right? So now when you're eating food 15 minutes later, it's helping to destroy, the body's destroying pathogens and viruses in the food. This is the number one way that we get these types of things, right? So now your food's healthier going in because all of our food's contaminated. The number two thing it does, it alkalizes the liver. Liver is what dictates communication to the bone marrow to produce healthy red blood cells. No matter what person I see, if you have a health condition, your red blood cell, I can see the size of it. If the size of it is inconsistent, you have an issue and you can see it in the blood. I can also see how much inflammation you have in the blood. I can see how healthy your organs are in the blood. And so we can see a track record of what's going on. And as you utilize this, I can see that getting better and you can see it. So you know you're going in the right direction and you may not necessarily feel it. Now you asked about communication. Your liver is what dictates the bone marrow to produce better blood. And it's, this is a simple analogy. If you lay on your leg for too long and it falls asleep, that leg will not work until the blood returns. And as the blood's returning, it doesn't always feel the greatest either. Yeah. That proves that communication is carried in the blood. Now, if your red blood cell is not the correct size and it's not properly functioning, how is it gonna deliver nutrition to the cells correctly? How is it gonna remove waste? It's not. 
So no matter what supplement you would try to take, it does no good if your red blood cell is not pretty, uh, carrying it correctly. I mean, does that make sense? Yeah. So this is why the supplement world does not work. The body does not recognize it as food. They're making it in a Petri dish. It's non-living, right? And it's called in vitro. The technology I'm talking about is in vivo. And what that means is when you eat a plant out of the ground, it's absorbing the nutrients and the minerals in the perfect quantities. And the body understands it so it can utilize it. It's not changed. So not only did we know the best parts of the plants, but we had to put it back together so the body still saw it as food. Because if it didn't, it would not work. All right. Now, you also asked me earlier about the product does say ethanol on it. And what does that mean? Well, in order to produce the product, when we digest food, there's a natural process that happens with plants. They fermentate, right? Mm -hmm. Well, when you look at a label, there is no word for fermentation, natural fermentation. So they have to put that in the category of ethanol. There is no ethanol. What it is, is it's fermentation from the plants. So there's a process where the fermentation begins because when we digest food, there's a natural fermentation process that gets that into the bloodstream and into the cell. So it's something that happens in nature and that's exactly how it happens with this technology. So you just spray it in your mouth, like I said. So any kind of questions that you might have already? Um, no, I, I love how you explain that it's, it's um, not only is it building the blood, but it, it, whatever we eat that is not good for us, it's going to attack right. that. So that I didn't know that was pretty, that's good information to know. Yeah. And it's important to understand you're always going to eat food, correct? Yes. So that means you're always going to need this reprieve of producing better blood to clean that out. If you stop doing it, then your body's going to start the process again. So we call it stagnant waste. When you're consuming food and exposed to toxins and all these things, stagnant waste builds up in the body. It's in the microcirculation. The faster the body can clean that out, the healthier you are. If it does it slowly, then you're not very healthy. And so, um, you know, the first process, obviously, is the body cleaning itself out. Once the system, the microcirculation is open and clean, like I said, now the body will start to produce younger cells with longer telomeres. Now, this lab, teleyears.com, you can send your blood to them and, and see how old you are. They test everybody's technology everyone. They themselves have called us multiple times and said, what are you guys doing? Because they've never seen anything like this. Nobody has anything compared to it. People are doing like two to three years max, whereas we're, like I said, up to 30 years age reversal. But again, it's not the food, it's your body. It's your body cleaning itself out and beginning the process again. So that's what it is. So if you want to now, we can actually go through your blood work. I've got it pulled up. So just so people know, Jeff wanted to um he was he's been with the company how many years 13 uh no i've been with the company for uh, going on five years now oh, and five. i've been on the technology for over four or you know going on five but um you know we only launched a year and a half ago with this technology to the public before that it was only done through nonprofit research and development and so we pushed the science team to allow us to bring this to average and ordinary people because our goal was to change health statistics over the next five to 10 years. And then December 10th, they finally allowed us to bring the age reversal, which is what I was so excited about because I was working heavily in this field, but it was 10 to $50,000 to get your age reversed. You know, that's a lot of money. People can't afford it, it wasn't attainable. So because of this business model, now everybody can afford to be a part of it. It takes a little longer because you're not spending 50 grand, but you're doing the same process. Everybody that begins this, the body starts cleaning itself out. So you begin the process of going down that road of age reversal. I'm so glad it doesn't cost me 50 grand to do it. I'm really like, <laughs> yeah. 620, no brainer. I can handle that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was pretty frustrating when you would go to people that really needed the technology and you had to say, look, there's nothing I can do. Those prices are dictated by the government and you can't, you know, it's research and development and you know, it's a, it's a set guideline and I'm sorry that you can't afford it. That, that was horrible. You know, I'd much rather help people before they get too bad. <laughs> right. No, this is great that it's affordable and it's going, you know, to the public like the way it is. So um, I'm Absolutely. glad I found it. I'm glad I found it with the launch. I pretty much. It's a blessing. It. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things that I loved about this technology that was different than working with natural doctors 
you know, natural doctors really don't understand how to read the blood work and they don't really understand what the most important things are. So this blood work that I had you do that's separate from the age reversal showing the DNA, this blood work is um, comprised from the last 50 years of research and development. This is the most important markers to your health. You know, our doctors are still looking at how many vitamins are in the blood. That has nothing to do with the health of your organs, how quickly your immune response is, your inflammation markers, your lipid panels, and your, you know, the uh, white, white blood cell response. All of that is pertinent to your actual health. And the body works as a system. So that's why we pull the blood work that we pull. So just real quickly, I'm going to go over some of the things that I've seen. And it's really nice that you're willing to share this, you know, because it's, it's kind of private. <laughs> I can't show this to people because yeah. of HIPAA laws, obviously, but we won't be talking about it. But uh, one of the first markers that we look at is the C-reactive protein. And if you read that on your blood work, it actually says, this is your uh, relative risk for cardiovascular events, all right? The range, it says, is one to three. Under one is, is good. One to, um, you know, between one and three is average. And just to, not to scare you or anything, but most people that we see pass are in that range from one to three and anything above three is high, okay? So this is the body's immune response and how quickly it can clean this up. Now for that number, you're actually at a 10.89, yeah. which is really high. <laughs> you're at 2000% of where you should be. 0. 0.5 is perfect. Mine is a 0. 0.54 the last time I had it tested, so mine's perfect. And so, like I said though, I've been on this technology for a while. Now that number right there, We've watched through blood work how that can drop 70 to 90% in two weeks. Okay. That's your body's ability to clean the system out, all right? The only thing that can slow that down is variables of damage. So if you've been throwing chemicals in your body or if you're exposed to a lot of toxins and things like that, then that can slow that process down. But that's ultimately telling us that the microcirculation is closed. This is what's, what's causing issues, right? So now when we look at the cancer antigens for your chest, breast, or, or lung, that number shows a 10. The range is zero to 38.6. So you're normal, you're good, you're healthy. Everybody has cancer in the body, cancer antigens. And we can see if the activity is elevated or if it's a normal range. So that's a great sign. Um, your cervical cancer is low. It's the same range, zero to 38.6, and you're at a nine. So that's great, right? Now I'm gonna go further down here. Um, white blood cell count looks really good. Red blood cell count looks good. Um, kidney function, your kidney function is slightly out and it shows me that your red blood cell size is inconsistent and you have cells that are too large. Besides having inconsistent size, a lot of them are too large and that's due to the kidney function that I'm reading right here. Um, it also shows me that your production is low on the RDW. So that red blood cell is, is not where it should be, it's out of range. Like I said, anytime there's a condition, that's what we typically see. All right, so I'm gonna go further down and start looking at your platelets. Platelets are elevated, so that tells me that you have infection in the body. And even if you didn't feel the infection, I can see in the blood work that your body's fighting infection based on the numbers, all right? And so I can see here, just going down through it. Uh, colon cancer marker looks really good. Range is 0 to 4.7. You're at 1.8, which is really good. That's very um, the good. Bun, yep, your bun number is elevated. Um, yeah, so this paints a picture of what's happening in the body. So we can see exactly what, what, what it looks like. Now you can imagine, because your body uses food to make blood, you know, when the supercomputer looks at these numbers, it can tell you exactly, it knows exactly what your body needs to uh, help the body produce this healthier blood to clean up these areas. All right, now we're gonna look at your liver numbers. So I'm looking at your alkaline phosphatase. Range is 39 to 117, you're at 94. So you're still in normal range, and uh, some of these other markers, you're in normal, normal range too, but you're either at the high end or at the low end, which means you're close to having an issue. So with this, you're at the high end of normal. So we wanna see that drop down just a little bit. 
Um, your AST is another major liver function, and you're at 19 on zero to 40. So that's a good number. Um, let me see here. Sorry, this phone is jumping around. The ALT is at 15 in the range of zero to 32. So you, your liver function, your main liver functions look really good. That tells me that your body is going to pick up this nutrition and utilize it. I can see that these numbers are already in pretty good shape. Well, that's good news. That's really good news. Um, Cause I see blood work that's really not very good. You know, now your cholesterol numbers are high in some areas, but that's kind of a secondary marker. If you have a little bit elevated cholesterol, but your C-reactive protein's good, you're healthy. Vice versa, if your cholesterol is good, but your C-reactive protein's high, that's, you know, something to look at. And another thing about this, you know, if you show the C-reactive protein to a cardiovascular surgeon, they deal with that and they understand how bad that is in the body. But average doctors, they're learning that chronic inflammation is bad, but they don't know as much information. So they may not really see that as a big deal. Whereas a cardiovascular surgeon, they understand that number very well. So when they see that drop, they're like, wow, I've never seen this. This is, you know, what are you doing? You know, I've never, never even heard of this. Okay. All right. So now looking at your thyroid, your thyroid looks like you are pretty good. Most people are hypothyroid um, that we see, you know, every once in a while I see a hyper, but your thyroid looks pretty good. Okay. So this is what you can expect on this technology. We're going to expect that the function of your kidneys are going to slowly get better. The chronic inflammation is going to drop drastically, which now means the system's open and your red blood cell is going to start getting produced better. That red blood cell life cycle is four months. So when you've been on this for four months, that means your body is producing better blood for a length of four months. And we're going to see a difference in this blood work. Now, for you, um, you could do either blood work again in 30 days or in 60. It's up to you. But we'll see a difference in how your body's absorbing this and picking this up. And so now you know you're going on the right, the right direction because your body's responding to it. So and you may not feel this um, because you can't feel inflammation in the body, but you'll know through the blood work. And that's what I love about this technology. It's proven through the blood work. Now... Later on, after you've been on this for a period of time, this is when you start noticing things like better sleep, better cognitive. You're gonna notice that your nails are getting thicker, your hair is getting thicker. You know, these are the positive benefits um, that you're gonna notice from being on this stuff. Now, because I've always been healthy, always eaten organic, competed in sports, worked out all the time. I'm, I'm 50 now, I just turned 50. Um, you know, I didn't feel really anything except first two weeks taking this technology I started waking up like a teenager again. And this isn't a sexual thing, guys. This means that my microcirculation was clean and open. It's an indicator. Now, women have the same plumbing as men do. You just don't have the indicator. So you know if it's working in men, it's also working with you. And women actually are, are more prone to heart disease and have more incidences. So you, know, you can be rest assured if the men are feeling this, then it's happening with you as well. So that's the, you know, kind of the little indicator. But I really didn't start noticing things until about three years of being on this. After three years of being on this technology, I noticed that my recovery time was better than it was when I was in college. In fact, I hurt my shoulder playing in a competitive flag football league. We actually travel around the country and compete against kids half my age. But I tore my rotator cuff so bad I could not button my pants. I had that same injury on the right side playing in college ball. Well, it took me 90 days in college before I could start working out with weights again. Five weeks after I tore my rotator cuff, I played in a tournament. We played five games over the weekend. My shoulder was at 80%. That, was, that blew me away that I was able to compete five weeks later. Now, some of the doctors that we work with, and uh, obviously we don't name names because of, you know, they're doctors and they have to do things by their standards. But we work with some of the soft tissue experts for the LA Dodgers and some of the um, predominant basketball teams out there, they say athletes heal two to three teams faster. In fact, they've had incidents where athletes were injured and they healed so quickly, but because of their name in the public, they could not release them to play because they didn't know what to say to the public. So this technology has been around, like I said, for 50 years, 
but in this country for 20 years at a very high level. It's just that we now have access to it. And so that's what I love about this because when we see differences in your blood and when you can start talking about how you notice different things, like I was uh, talking to somebody the other day, there was a period of time where if I had to wake up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom, I was disoriented. And sometimes I got really hot and I'd have to sit down like a cold sweat. That, that wasn't optimal health, even though I was a pretty healthy guy. That's completely gone now. And I didn't even remember it until like a month ago, I had to get up to go to the bathroom. And I was like, wide awake as soon as I woke up, I went in and went to the bathroom, went back to bed. And I was like, wait a minute, I remember a time when, you know, it happened to me like two or three times where, you know, I was disoriented. I thought if somebody broke into the house, could I defend my family. You know, these are things that men think about. I'm like, that's different. You start to notice things that no one can tell you that this does not work in your body. You, you're like, there's differences. And so it's very exciting. And I'm, I'm just so excited to get this out to people. And now that we have the age reversal, it's going to happen quicker. See, our other technology was very similar, but we didn't have the plants that were specific to age reversal. And so now that we have this added to that same technology, it's really a blessing. So we're really excited. Yeah, um, I am so thankful to find this product and that you went over my blood work. And I, I understand that blood work results are personal, but I want, I'd rather get the message out. Um, and I know I've been struggling with health for a long time. And most of my friends know that I am always looking for the, for whatever will get me to that next level. And I feel that right. I finally found that product that's, that I don't have to keep looking anymore. I, I feel like I've, I've met my criteria is yeah I'll take time to get that four months and that you know whatever to get absolutely everything. but um I'm so I just feel like I can be at peace finally with the search like I've been searching for so long and I I am right. just so grateful so grateful yeah and you know the the thing that really got me when I first met with the science team they said do you believe that men can create something or they can somehow manipulate our bodies to do something better than the body was designed. God's design is the best design. And so even when it comes like to herbs, you know, you can get the body to do things by giving the body herbs or colloidal silver or, or different things. But if it's the body doing it, isn't it going to be better? You know, and so one of the things that people don't really understand is how the immune system works. You know, when the immune system beats something, it creates memory cells. That's the whole idea behind a vaccine, right? Put a little bit in the body, the immune system beats it, builds memory cells, now you can't get it again, right? But if you have a healthy immune system and the system's open, the microcirculation, that's all you need. Now you built a better fort. So the immune system is gonna go in there and get rid of it, build memory cells, so now you can't be exposed to it again. And this works for everything, pathogens, viruses, doesn't matter what it is. Now, these things change over time, these viruses, right? So then the immune system is going to have to be the new viruses that's coming out because it's constantly changing. But drugs can't do that. And we understand this, only the body, the body has the best ability. So food is what makes blood. You can't just eat carrots and get rid of whatever your issue is. It takes raw, natural, and varied, no contamination. You have to have a lot of variety. That's what makes the healthiest blood. And so that's why this is basically the top 10% of the plants on the planet that we understand are good. If it's something that's not in this formula, that means it didn't make the grade. This is the best of the best of the best. And it's not the whole plant. So if somebody says, oh, I have an allergic reaction to celery. Well, it's not actually celery anymore because when you take the best parts away, the body's never seen that. So you cannot have an allergic reaction. And so this is the best part that the body's looking for so that the reactions can happen to produce better blood. And your blood does everything from that point forward. Your yeah. blood's designed to clean the cells. So that's what we do. That is so, awesome. Yeah, it's so awesome. So it sounds like from what you just said, no it's not necessary to have a vaccine if you're cleaning the blood, you're not gonna get this virus. So there's no sense on doing a vaccine. Correct. Well, you know, I, I can't, you know, say anything medically, but like I said, your immune system is the only thing that beats it. They understand antibiotics, same way. An antibiotic does not kill anything. 
there's a waxy ring that builds up around a bacteria when it divides. Antibiotics slow that waxy ring from building. Now the immune system can kill it. In a superbug, there's two rings, right? That's why superbugs have invaded all the hospitals worldwide. The team that I'm referring to is the only team on the planet that has the technology and will be called the new antibiotics. It'll be everywhere. Um, it, it won't be called you know, through our company, but this is what kind of level that they work on because your immune system is the only thing that can beat these things. No drug, a drug's not beating a disease, right? Your immune system's beating it. And so they understand that. And so this is why um, the race for antibiotic resistance is so important because it is contagious. And they say by the year 2050, it could kill as many as 100 million people a year. And so this is why um, what we have is so vital for our health. Well, I just pray that everything goes smooth for the company and that you guys are protected and get this message out because this is the most exciting news I found. And um, I'm, I'm actually turning 51 in two, two weeks. <laughs> and, nice, uh, awesome. And um, I'm, I, I, um, I've been wanting to, you know, have full body health holistically. Um, that was my right. main goal. And I did, I did lots of, lots of things to get to where I am now, which I feel I'm actually healthy, but listening to you and my blood work, I still have ways to go. So I'm super excited that um, to get my blood work again and to keep taking this product in the way that will get me better. So thank you for your yeah, time. And I just wanna, yeah, and I just wanna reiterate too. So not only do we have the results from the people that have sent their blood to tell yours to see what their age is, but every one of those people have also blood work from LabCorp and Quest Diagnostics where your doctors send you to get blood work done. And so they have a track record of going from not healthy blood to healthy blood. So guys, this is irrefutable. The science is already there and we don't have to understand it. Like I can't understand how I can pick up my cell phone and I can call New York and I can talk to that person. I don't have to understand all this stuff. Just believe the science, it's, it's in the blood work, it doesn't lie. And so we have a backup to the the lab telling you about the reversal. So it, it is a blessing and, and you're gonna experience the difference. Cool. Well, I'm super grateful to have this time to go over my blood work, go over the company, go over the product. And um, if anybody has questions, well, um, I'm sure there's questions still, but I can't think of any. And is there anything else you wanna share before I hit um, the record button to end it? Yeah, just, I'm really excited to be working with you and your team. You guys are crushing it. and. Uh, you know, I'm available to, to work with you, to do group calls, to answer questions and help everyone understand exactly what we have. So I'm just excited to be working with you and to be a part of your 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 life, you know, as you progress better. So yeah. it's, it's a, that's my purpose. I love doing it, so. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm, I'm super, I, I'm more than excited as you can see. And um, thank you for Absolutely. your time. And uh, we'll, if you can, uh, when I do my next lab results, I'd like to video it again to add a, um, another. Yeah, the progression. Yeah. Sounds great. So people will be watching me and I'm excited to share it. So thank you again. I'm going to stop recording and um, thank you guys for listening and we'll see you on the next one. Not clicking. Try it up here.